How to diagnose eye problems in pugs. Pugs are a hugely popular breed of dog that have wonderful personalities and a distinct love of food and people. Their small size makes them popular with apartment dwellers, and their round, baby-like faces appeal to all types of dog lovers. However, it is those beautiful huge eyes that can cause them to have many eye problems over their lifetimes. Their eyes tend to protrude from their faces and that flat face leaves a greater percentage of the cornea exposed to the air. This head shape, as well as genetic predispositions for specific eye problems, means that a pug owner should be vigilant about watching out for problems. 1. Identifying eye problems. Spot the signs of corneal ulcers. The cornea is the transparent layer on the front part of the eye. In order to see, light needs to pass through it to reach the lens and the retina. If a dog has corneal ulcers, which is like a divot in the cornea, they will affect the ability of light to pass through the cornea, inhibiting the vision of the dog. Signs include your pug holding its eye closed or squinting a lot. This is a sign that your dog is having discomfort and may need veterinary treatment. You may also notice a lack of shine in the part of the eye with the ulcer, or jagged reflections instead of a reflection with smooth edges. In the pug, the ulcer develops because of the large amount of cornea that is exposed to the air, making it more prone to drying and trauma. 3. This means that ulcers are caused by a combination of genetics and injury. Look for the symptoms of hereditary cataracts. Pugs are prone to hereditary forms of lens cataracts. The lens is the structure which focuses light on the retina. It is a transparent sac of jelly and sits just behind the colored part of the eye, the iris. A cataract refers to a cloudiness of the lens. This genetic condition can develop in a pug anytime between 6 months and 6 years old. You may see signs of this as a whiteness or milkiness behind the iris, the colored part of the eye, which is normally black, the pupil. You may also notice the general behavior associated with a dog going blind, for example it is bumping into items in the home that it previously easily avoided. Be on the lookout for dry eyes. The lack of tear fluid production causes the surface of the eye to be too dry. This makes the eye uncomfortable, hot, and itchy. The surface of the eye loses its shine and appears dull. The dog may rub its head to relieve the itch and damages the cornea while itching. To protect itself, the eye produces a tacky, mucus-like substance that has the effect of gumming up the eye. A dog with dry eye may squint, holding the eye closed because it's more comfortable that way. 5. Dry eyes occur when the tear ducts either do not produce enough moisture or the moisture gets blocked from making it to the eye. This could be either genetic, meaning a poorly formed tear duct, or by condition, such as a clogged tear duct. Identify the signs of developing cherry eye. Cherry eye is a condition that occurs when the gland behind the third eyelid in the inner corner of the eye pops out from its position behind the third eyelid. It sticks forward, looking like a small red cherry stuck on the eye. Diagnosing cherry eye is not difficult, as it can even be seen across the room because of the big red area in the dog's eye. 6. Cherry eye is caused by a genetic condition that weakens the connection between the gland and the eye, allowing the gland to easily pop out of position. It is not known if it is an inherited condition, even though it is a congenital condition. 7. Although this condition may look painful, it usually is not for the dog. 8. Spot the signs of pigmentary keratopathy. Pigmentary keratopathy is a hereditary condition that is not yet fully understood. Brown pigment is deposited in the clear cells of the cornea, which is like wearing a contact lens covered in paint. The dog cannot see through it and eventually loses its vision. If you are suspicious that your pug is losing its sight, for instance it is running into objects that it should be able to avoid, inspect its eye. Look carefully at the surface of the eye for deposits of brown pigments. These can range in size from small speckles to large patches. Pay attention to the general signs of eye problems. Don't concern yourself with making a definite diagnosis. Your job is to recognize that something isn't quite right and then to make the judgment as to whether or not your dog needs to go to a vet. In the case of eye problems, it is probably better to be safe than sorry, as many eye conditions that are left untreated could lead to blindness and pain for your dog. Signs there is a problem include. Holding the eye closed or squinting, this is a sign of discomfort and requires urgent attention. Rubbing the eye, again, an important sign the dog's eye is uncomfortable. A discharge from the eye, this can be watery as the eye is irritated, green if there is infection, or a tacky glue-like discharge for dry eye. A dull eye, a dull eye can indicate an ulcer on the surface, or a lack of moisture production. 